this could be the start of the a beautiful a beautiful thing, my friends. The Panda Express Fortune Cookie says, you'll be inspired to create your masterpiece today. Hey friends, we're back in Chicago and it's time to have a little explore. Come with me to see the beautiful, magnificent mile in Chicago's downtown. The world's largest Starbucks where I decide not to buy a coffee. My new philosophy on beers in the toilet. Some thrift shopping where I find some inappropriately stained pants and we try some classic American fast food surprise surprise oh and don't forget Chinatown if there's a Chinatown I'm there for some seriously good food this is a compilation of two trips but our story starts here in Prague Airport the snowiest runway I've ever seen friends welcome back to my channel it's currently 7:43 in the morning on uh, Tuesday. I'm in Prague Airport. I am heading to Chicago for the fourth time in the last five weeks or so. Uh, probably the best job ever. But uh, I'm looking forward to going to Chicago, seeing some cool things and taking you with me. First off, there's been like some snowstorm on the runway. It's completely, it's completely white. Oh well. Well, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit, but obviously, it's not ideal. Uh, hopefully the pilot does a few skids, a few burnouts, you know, lightens the mood a little bit. But I'm looking forward to uh, checking out something new in Chicago. I'm only there for uh, 24 hours. Could so you try again? I'm only there for 24 hours. So Sorry, we gotta make- I'm not sure about that. Would you shut up, watch? Uh, so we gotta make the best of it. Let's go. We're back, two bed deluxe. We're back in the game, bang. So, first thing on the agenda is I'm gonna go to the second hand shop because I love that stuff and try to get some bargains. First I gotta have a shower, get ready. Wow, it's sunny today. <laughs> Last three times I was here, it was like one degree, so windy, so horrible. Back, I'm back, it's windy, but it's really nice and warm and super shiny bright. But I'm at Goodwill, so uh, editor, can you please roll the montage? Just another sunny day in Southern California. It's where the people came to play. Don't let them transform ya. Oh. Hey. Come and see what you've been missing on a little slice of heaven. promising uh, until I found some stains it's really looking nice I got some absolute bargains there that was awesome and now uh, obviously because I'm in America you know Americans like burgers so we're gonna have to try one of the top rated burgers in the fast food world. Let's go. Yep, you guessed it. It's Wendy's. I've never tried it before. Gonna be something different, I guess. Let's see what they got. We got this for $5.55. Little burgie. Let's check them out. 
Very cute. They got square patties, cheese, onion, pickles, mustard, ketchup. Very cute little burger. The meat's really good, good, and the sauce. The bun's really good. I rate it. So the camera was good until I swiped burger grease on it. Then it was bad. Sorry. The fries are pretty yummy. They're kind of thin like uh, McDonald's ones. And it comes with four chicken nuggets as well. We've got the sweet sour sauce. It's like that fake processed chicken mince, but it's delicious. It always is. And that's my Wendy's experience. I would have to say six out of ten. Do marrow for sure. So, uh, you know, if it was like some voiceover to this video, it'll be like completely, completely on a different day and not exactly 10 minutes after he went to Wendy's, Cody went to Panda Express. So we're going to get back to the hotel. We're going to try it. Can't wait. We got some, uh, I'll tell you when we get there. Righto. We're back. A honey walnut shrimp, orange chicken, because my sister said to try it. And then honey sesame chicken breast. Bang! Also, from this little box, I have a fortune cookie. So let's see what it says. Are you meant to eat fortune cookies? They're not really exactly what you think they would taste like. They're like a sweet cracker. Hmm. Kind of like a dessert. You'll be inspired to create your masterpiece today. That's a good point. Fortune cookies. Delicious. It looks pretty unreal, actually. I guess we try the rice. This is like a little, uh, it's kind of like a buffet. You kind of choose whatever it is you want. Mm. And everything's like ready. So it's quite fast food. The rice is absolutely delicious. Not overly seasoned. I reckon sometimes they can be under seasoned as well. Or, you know, a lot, so it doesn't complement these other things. This is the orange chicken. This one's for my sister, Destiny. Cheers to you, buddy. Yeah, orange, orange, chicken. orange chicken. I think it's the most famous one at Panda Express. And that is because it is blackened. Man, this is absolutely delicious. You definitely get the orange flavor there. So it's got like the tang from the orange, sweet, uh, sticky, uh, not too bitter. And the coating is so nice on it. Oh my God. Oh my God. So these are the honey walnut prawns. They look unreal as well. It's incredible. Oh, shit. I don't, actually I don't actually taste the walnut. It's very similar to the orange chicken, I reckon, but maybe a little bit sweeter. Has a, um, an amazing coating on it. It's like shiny, sticky, sweet. It's got that umami flavor, like salty, sweet, a bit of tang. And really good size shrimp. I know this is like a takeaway type fast food. This is fucking good. It's a honey sesame chicken. They got nice little coating as well. Definitely get that soy um, sweet flavor and the honey and the thick glaze just works perfectly. And I can definitely taste the sesame in there. In, in terms of like fast food, I would have to say this is, this is up there. Oh no, I'm so full though. I'm giving this solid eight and a half out of 10, I think, all together, overall. Pretty much unfolded, maybe go higher, maybe could go higher, but. For now, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Today, friends, we are back. And I ate so much food yesterday, but we're feeling, feeling good. Feeling very good. So, uh, we're gonna head to the city, we're gonna go to the Magnificent Mile, and we're gonna see uh, the most famous Starbucks in all of Chicago. Looking forward to it. My bag also has been weighed down by these three beers that I have. I didn't demolish them last night, and you can't drink them in public here. So I found out a better option. Nasty. 
<laughs> Go first. Every toilet has this. seen these turnstiles in movies so it's kind of cool to go through them kind of weird but beware if you have like a bag it's gonna get caught in there real quick that's my tip the blue line's really handy it takes you from like town to the airport really handy line Here. Righto, bus stop somewhere. We're on. If I was to describe what Chicago looks like, I would say bricks, lots of bricks. It's just so many different buildings, so modern, so new. Like this one across the road is pretty amazing. Pizza place. And there's just huge buildings in the skyline everywhere. So I'm going to find uh, this biggest Starbucks in the whole world. are seriously awesome on the fourth floor and they even have a bar specializing in all things coffee so you know I had to choose one of their delectable drinks I'm a weird customer I go to Starbucks I don't even get a coffee oh well this is like awesome uh, spiraling escalator check it out Thank you so much. It was delicious. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. We can check out the roof terrace if it's open. We'll see. Oh, we're going up. Nice. Wow. Oh, wow. Whoa. Okay, so this is a cool spot. You can bring out your coffee up to the roof terrace. You can chill out, do whatever you like up here. And be one with the concrete jungle that is Chicago. My goodness. The views are unreal. If the sky was blue, and it was summer, and then this would be the perfect place. Espresso, martinis, other coffee related co cocktails, and or just some beautiful coffee, you know. So happy to be here. Next place though.
Chicago might not be the first city that comes to mind when you think of Chinatowns, but let me tell you, they've got a gem of a neighborhood nestled in the south side. With its bustling streets and vibrant atmosphere, Chicago's Chinatown is a feast for the senses and today I'm here to dig in to one of the most beloved dishes in the area, the hot pot. We are in beautiful Chinatown and so far it looks really cool down here. There's so many Asian inspired shops. There's a big Chinese community in Chicago and it's actually the fifth biggest Chinatown in all of America. Also, if you don't know today, uh, you are beautiful. Just remember that. Now, if you've never had hot pot before, let me paint you a picture. You sit at a large table and in the center of the table, there's a big pot of simmering broth. And then, a parade of raw ingredients are available for you to choose, which you cook in the broth yourself. Everything from thinly sliced meat to fresh vegetables to plump dumplings, it's a communal dining at its best. And it's a beloved tradition in many parts of Asia. And let me tell you, Watching the ingredients cook in that bubbling pot is pure entertainment in itself. It's like a mini cooking class right at your table. And as you dunk your tongs into the broth to receive your perfectly cooked morsel, you can't help but feel a sense of satisfaction. That is delicious though. So I think this skewer is one of the beef ones. I put it in for the three minutes that was recommended. Delicious, tender, beautiful, really um, spicy. <laughs> what a cool experience though. Really cool trying to try some different things and getting to eat food like this is not something you get to do every day. So hot pot's been on the list for me and now I'm here. And if you're a food lover like me, there's no better place to be. From the dim sum to the bao buns to crispy Peking duck, Chicago's Chinatown is a culinary wonderland. So next time you find yourself in the Windy City, Make sure you make a beeline for Chinatown and don't leave without trying the hot pot. I actually can't get over these doors. You see these doors in movies too and they're just really fun to go through. Just do a small lap. Well folks, that's a wrap on my trip to Chicago. I'm sure I'll be back, but I hope you enjoyed the virtual tour of the Windy City from my perspective. Remember, travel is not about seeing new places, it's about broadening our perspectives and understanding our place in the world. So whether you're exploring your hometown or jetting off to a far-flung destination, keep an open mind and a curious spirit and you'll find that the world is full of wonders and beauty. Cody out. After three trains, one bus ride and one plane ride, I'm finally back in the Zenith after about 16 hours of travel. But we're back. Hope you enjoyed my vlog about Chicago and I hope to be back there soon. So if you have any ideas for me, cheap ones, let me know in the comments. I'll check it out next time I'm there.